No, uh, LSD, well, well, I asked you to verify this. Derivative of tangent x is equal to secant squared x. If you had started, where would you start? It was two things, those again, because there's people that looked at the identity were like, it was like tan something something minus one tan then. But then there's some people that use tan like um, sine over cosine and they do that thing. So like they put in the digits equation. And so like there's two, like you, you know there's an identity, right? Yeah. And so for H, for X plus H, they put in the identity. And then for another one, someone put sine over cosine for X plus H. So which one is it? Me and yeah, your name's doing it. Question? Yeah. So, good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. but why is there multiple different ways you, to do it? You can good. go with the same usual approach, start with the difference quotient. Yes. And do a bit of math over there, and then find the derivative. But, like, just on what I think what you're saying is with tangent, instead of having it as tangent, he's talking about breaking it up into sine over cosine, solving it that way, which I feel like would overcomplicate it because you're doing two variables instead of one. Two functions. So two functions. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Sine x over cosine x. That's what I was talking about, but there's two ways. But I am not going to use the difference quotient at all. I know, yeah, you could just take the derivative like that. But I I'll just take the derivative of this because I showed you that the derivative of sine x is cosine x. The derivative of cosine x is negative sine x. We went over this. So I don't have to prove that again. I don't have to get into the entire process of finding the derivative or difference question. So what tool should we use? So u is cosine x, v is sorry, u is sine x, v is cosine x, u prime cosine x, v prime negative sine x. So that would be to v u prime minus u v prime divided by p squared. V is cosine x. U prime is also cosine x minus u is sine x. And V prime is negative sine x divided by V squared, V is cosine x. So we will have cosine x squared. <laughs> Good. Which would give us cosine squared x minus negative times negative positive sine squared x <coughs> divided by cosine squared x. And you can see that when I do cosine x, the entire thing squared, I put the square here. I don't understand as to why the book doesn't put parentheses around x. It, it is very important or in weather side. Writing it this way is the best way so that you don't make mistakes. And the most common mistake that students would do in that step is instead of writing it this way, you'd write it that way. They are completely different things. So don't make that mistake. So the x being, I mean, the square being on the outside or like where the square x is the same thing. Yes, these two are the same. So, and what, what does it mean? It simply means cosine x multiplied by cosine x. If you write it that way, that is the cosine of x squared. But the cosines are canceled out. Uh -uh. Uh -huh. 
What do you mean? It's not it's not just this and that. You can't do that. Okay. Right. Biggest problem. That's a common denominator. So if you're going to count on this, you have to split it up first. Um, well, which would mean that you get one plus sine squared x over cosine squared x. Yeah, that doesn't look anything like that. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Wait, is it cosine and sine? Like, is this that equal to one? So one over cosine is yeah, it? Uh, I thought it was an identity. <laughs> is it? Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. one over cosine is <laughs> sine. So we have <laughs> one over cosine squared x. That still doesn't look like sine squared x. It is. It is. I need to make sure so <laughs> one over cosine squared x is the same as one over cosine x squared. We know one over cosine x is sigma x. And if I square that, I will get <laughs> sigma squared x. So U is E raise X, B is sine X, U prime is E raise X, V prime, derivative of sine X, I just wrote it for this. Sine X. Okay, sine X. We just use the formula now. U V prime plus V U prime. So E raise X cosine X plus V is sine X multiplied by E raise X. Good. What do we have in common? E oh, raise X. That would result in cosine x plus sine x. <clears throat> I switch to a square bracket because that's just my way of doing things. If I realize there are too many parentheses, I'll just switch. But you can put parentheses there also entirely up to you. Yes. Why do we not find the rule. Divide by what? Uh, e squared. Okay. So, the rule is the derivative of e raise x is. <laughs> Any questions? Any more Can you simplify more? Okay, so we have the use quotient rule. So u is cosine t. V is one plus cotangent of t. U prime, what is the derivative of cosine t? Negative sine t. So V prime, derivative of one is zero. Derivative of cotangent of t is negative cosecant squared t. Um, So f prime of t would be v u prime minus u v prime divided by v squared. v is 1 plus cotangent t. u prime negative sine t. Minus u cosine t multiplied by v prime negative cosecant squared t. Divide the entire thing by one plus cotangent t squared. Most of you got to that part, which is a great thing. Now, where do we go from here? Ask yourself this question 
is it possible for some form of simplification? Well, the second term, definitely not, because we have a cosine, and the only way to write cosecant it would be one over sine, correct? And cosine and sine are different things. You cannot simplify that. So I'm going to leave that term as it. Good. Distribute the negative sign C. And I'm doing that because I know cotangent T is cosine of T divided by sine T. So the sine T would get cancelled, simplifying the expression. So cosine T divided by sine T multiplied by negative sine T. Isn't that a that's just be cosine? The second one? This one? Yeah, it's cosine, thank you. It's not cotangent. Um, the sine and sine will get cancelled. So we will have negative sine t plus or negative cosine t plus cosine t multiplied by cosecant square t divided by one plus cotangent of t. Slide. This is this was my thought process. I looked at this cosine t and looked at that cosine t. I saw a uh, cosine t in common, and then I saw a negative and cosecant squared. It immediately clicked, and I thought, hmm, there is an identity that I can use here. So the identity is this, one plus cotangent squared x is cosecant squared x. So if I rewrite this, cotangent squared x would be cosecant squared x minus one. Do we agree? Go back to the numerator. Negative sine t. I have negative cosine t. If I simply pull a positive cosine t up, I will be left with negative one. Cosecant squared t will remain as is because I pulled cosine t out. So <coughs> cosecant squared t. Good. I am pulling this cosine t out for last two terms. Yes. Divide by one plus cotangent t squared. But what is cosecant squared t minus one? Cotangent squared. So I'm going to replace that part by cotangent squared. Okay. Of T. I meant T. You can leave it at that, unless you want to 
can mad the co tangent to cosine and sine, can mad that to cosine and sine, simplify further. Don't get into all that. This is good enough. Yes. 